A new era in wind energy has begun with Alpha Ventus. As the first German wind farm, Alpha Ventus is being constructed on the high seas under offshore conditions. 45 kilometers north of the island of Borkum and in a water depth of 30 meters, 12 wind turbines will have been installed here by the end of 2009. With the construction, building and network integration of Alpha Ventus, fundamental experience is gained for the future commercial use of offshore installations. Alpha Ventus is a reference project in every respect. A working party from Hochtief Construction is commissioned by Dorty in December 2007 with the production and construction of the offshore substation platform. Alpha Ventus is a joint project between the companies E.ON Climate and Renewables EWE and Vattenfall and Dorty Deutsche Offshore Testfeld und Infrastrukturgesellschaft. This consortium was founded specifically for this project. Along with the production, Hochtief is particularly entrusted with the planning and execution of the offshore assembly of the substation platform. Alpha Ventus is situated outside the 12-mile zone and consequently in the area of the exclusive economic zone of the Federal Republic of Germany. The open sea seems to offer a lot of space, but take a closer look and only a few particular locations remain worth considering. Sand excavation areas, communication cables, restricted military areas, shipping routes and national parks are to be taken into consideration when selecting a location. The national park in Lower Saxony, Vattenmeer in particular, has a great influence on the location of the installation, the route of the interconnecting undersea cables, the positioning of the wind turbines, the transformer platform and the cable route to the mainland. When tackling these issues, a wide experience from offshore projects already successfully performed stand in the project team's favor, along with a knowledge of engineering. The necessary calculations for the sea assembly were performed in the Hochtief subsidiary, civil engineering and marine works in Hamburg. This separate office deals exclusively with offshore projects. Part of the work preparation is the simulation of different erection phases. Computer-generated models make it possible to recognize possible problems even here, well in advance of the actual installation. An indispensable tool in view of the logistical challenges in North Sea conditions and the great distance to the coast. A variety of factors, such as environmental conditions and operational criteria specific to the devices is to be taken into account. Towing and work conditions are determined for the jack-up platform. With regard to the floating crane, the interaction between swell, crane and load move has to be analyzed. Lifting gear, vibrators and pile hammers have to be dimensioned. Likewise, logically positioning the accommodation container and the installation equipment is essential on the limited deck surface of the Jacker platform. All operating conditions have to be coordinated with each other in order to guarantee smooth handling offshore. An important element of the work preparation is compiling an installation manual listing all work steps and related aspects in detail in terms of safety, health, environment protection and quality assurance. The production of the steel construction is carried out from March to September 2008 at Braunschweig K in Wilhelmshaven. The logistics are impressive. Prefabricated part structures are transported to their place of destination at the loading cave, aligned, measured and welded. Special features such as erecting the separately manufactured bracings of the jacket lower parts as well as the wedding, the joining of the conical jacket lower part with the vertical upper part, characterize this project. The substation platform essentially comprises three elements. The around 45 meter high and around 580 ton heavy steel framework foundation, the so-called jacket. The four piles, each weighing 100 tons, with which the jacket is anchored 30 meters deep into the seabed. As well as the around 15 meter high topside, 
equipped with the electro-technical units. The whole structure is a good 60 meters high and weighs over 1,300 tons. The three-story top side comprises helicopter, main deck and cable deck. Equipped, it weighs about 680 tons. After being erected on the jacket, it will protrude 30 meters above sea level. The project substation Alpha Ventus is following an ambitious schedule. The date for connecting the export cable is fixed. Likewise, the time slots for the sea assembly. In only nine months, the construction project should be handed over as a turnkey project from planning up to installation. After acceptance by the certifier, the driven piles manufactured in Rostock are transported with a coast motorboat through the North Baltic Sea Channel to Eemshaven and unloaded there onto a prepared surface at the loading quay. As the first floating device, Hochtief's own jacket platform, Odin, leaves Wilhelmshaven at the beginning of September in the direction of the offshore location. Having arrived at the construction site, the jacket platform positions itself on the place exactly determined beforehand and elevates itself into the work position. Through the so-called jacking up, the ship's hull is raised above sea level. Consequently, it is protected from the influence of the waves and swell and through this a stable platform is created. In the meantime, the floating crane Tacklift 4 has already picked up two piles in Eemshaven under harbour conditions. After a positive weather report has been pronounced that confirms the weather window necessary for the transport, the floating crane leaves Eemshaven in the direction of the location. Having arrived, the driven piles are inserted into a tube yoke on the Odin specifically constructed for this purpose. A maneuver requiring a precise approach to the heavyweight devices. This interaction is achieved by hauling the floating crane onto previously laid anchor ropes. After handover, the floating crane leaves the location in the direction of Wilhelmshaven. In order to take the jacket and the top side to the location, the good weather window must be used. A sea transport of the top side from Wilhelmshaven to Eemshaven minimizes the transport distance to the location. The customized hoist is now used for the first time. Each rope and each shackle is precisely adapted to the weights and dimensions of the structure to be raised and certified. If the loads change, the lifting gear also changes a fact that the project team already takes into account in the planning phase. For this purpose, the equipped top side is moved from a floating crane onto a sea pontoon vessel in Wilhelmshaven and affixed with a support structure called sea fastenings and towed to Eemshaven. After moving the top side, the floating crane changes the lifting gear. It positions